Hi, I'm JC Hallman. This is the Anarcha Archive. This video builds directly off our last video, describing how Anarcha, the most consequential of the experimental subjects of diabolical surgeon J. Marion Sims, wound up enduring even more experiments in Richmond, Virginia, and New York City. Our last video described the Egyptian building in Richmond. If you haven't watched that video, you might want to return to that one and then come back here. As we've seen in previous videos, Anarcha, by this point, sometime around 1853 or 1854, was owned by a man named William L. Morey. The Morey family was large and spread all around the country, New York, Tennessee, Alabama, and several places in Virginia, Fredericksburg, Bowling Green, and Richmond. A man named Robert H. Morey lived at what is now the Virginia Commonwealth University Alumni House. It was common for Moreys to visit one another, stay in one another's homes, and so on. Anarcha's owner, William L. Morey, known in the family by his middle name, Lewis, was the son of William G. Morey. In 1842, William G. Morey bought this home in Bowling Green, Virginia. This is Old Mansion. Originally, the home was called Bowling Green, but when the town of Bowling Green took that name, the house itself became known as Old Mansion. This is Old Mansion today. It still exists. It's one of the oldest homes in the country, in fact. And it's going to be figuring very heavily in Anarka's life, particularly as a function of her being purchased by William L. Morey. So who exactly was William L. Lewis Morey? This is Lewis Morey as a young man. This is Lewis Morey from a few years later. After he resigned from the U.S. Navy to join the Confederate Navy, Lewis would become captain of one of the privateers, pirate ships really, that the Confederacy tried to use to disrupt Lincoln's naval blockade of the South. Before then, however, Lewis sailed with an expeditionary mission to explore the Pacific, and he later sailed with Commodore Perry on Perry's famous mission to Japan in the early 1850s. There's actually an island named for Lewis Morey. This is Morey Island in Washington State between Seattle and Tacoma. The hints of why Lewis's life connects to Anarcha go back to his first marriage. Lewis's first wife gave birth to two children, and then, while he was on the Perry expedition to Japan, she died as a result of complications of a third child. A few years later, Lewis had returned home, and he had begun to court the woman who would become his second wife, Anne Fontaine, who was known as Nan. But how does that connect to Anarcha? In an earlier video, we learned that Lewis's cousin, Matthew Fontaine Morey, was the father of oceanography. He also was a Navy man. He was from Fredericksburg, but he frequently visited Old Mansion in Bowling Green. It was only about 20 miles away. And he visited another cousin, Robert H. Morey, at his home in Richmond. This was just a couple of blocks away from the Egyptian building, where Anarcha was now being experimented on. It's even more direct than that. Around this time, Matthew Fontaine Morey had begun to experiment with undersea mines, called torpedoes at the time. He was performing experiments on the third floor of Richard Morey's Richmond home. And as it happens, Matthew Fontaine Morey, in support of his work, had been given access to supplies and resources that were stored in the basement of the Egyptian building. Now bear in mind, the woman's hospital case record, which we looked at in an earlier video, showed that Lewis Morey was Anarcha's enslaver. The only question was how he came to be her enslaver. What this shows is that his cousin, also a Navy man, was doing work in the exact building where Anarcha was being experimented on at the same time. In all likelihood, Anarcha was probably living in the Egyptian building. And recall that Matthew Fontaine Morey, just a few years earlier, had served on a committee with a man who had been J. Marion Sims' teacher and who was Sims' lifelong friend. And there's this, too. Anarka was already becoming famous. People in New York had already heard about Sims' cure. A couple years earlier, Louis Morey had lost his first wife to childbirth, and now he was courting the woman who would become his second wife. Wouldn't he see the advantage of purchasing an enslaved woman who was a nurse and who was already famous for what she knew about the dangers of childbirth. 
There is no smoking gun that shows that Lewis Morey purchased an Arca from Nathan Harris or Harris's wife, Margaret Duncan, but the transaction did take place. This sequence of events, Matthew Fontaine Morey finding an Arca in the Egyptian building and being instructed to purchase her for his cousin, fits with every other bit of circumstantial evidence. This is the easiest route to explain how Anarcha came to be owned by the Mori family. And as we'll be seeing in future videos, what Anarcha did next was go to Lewis Mori's childhood home, Old Mansion, in Bowling Green, Virginia. She would remain there for a number of years. Whoa.